Hello, my name is Katharina Grösel and I will now present our paper Cataracts, simulating cataracts in augmented reality. This is an image of a typical escape route sign. It shows the shortest path out of a building in case of an emergency. Such signs have to be installed in a certain maximum distance to the next sign, so people have always one sign in sight that they can read. But what if you have some form of visual impairment that makes it harder or almost impossible to recognize the direction on the sign? This is a common problem for a lot of people. At least 2.2 billion people worldwide are affected by vision impairments or blindness, according to the World Health Organization. This number is expected to increase due to different factors such as aging of the population. This is because many eye conditions show a higher prevalence with age. Cataracts were identified as one of the leading causes for vision impairments. Cataracts are opacities in the lens of the eye which occlude parts of the visual field and can also lead to vision loss when left untreated. Depending on their characteristics and the region of the lens that is affected, cataracts are categorized as nuclear, cortical or posterior subcapsular cataracts. Cataracts can cause symptoms such as cloudy or blurry vision, faded colors, tinted vision, trouble seeing at night, increased sensitivity to light, halos around lights or double vision. For our society to be more inclusive and accessible, the more than 2.2 billion people with limited vision should be considered more frequently in design decisions, such as architectural planning. But vision impairments can be difficult for patients to describe and others to visualize. Most existing cataract simulations are very simplified depictions of cataract vision are not adjustable in the severity of symptoms and many are just modified 2D images. It is extremely difficult to visualize an eye disease when you are just told how it looks like and you have never experienced it yourself. To help architects in evaluating their designs and also give medical personnel some insight on how patients experience cataracts, we worked with ophthalmologists and concentrated on the most common cataract symptoms and developed the first medically informed pilot studied simulation of cataracts in iTrack video see-through AR using the HTC Vive Pro front-facing cameras. We combine different effects to simulate cataract disease patterns. First, we reduce the visual acuity of a user using a Gaussian blur, which leads to this blurred vision. Next, we reduce the contrast. We use a histogram compression of luminance values in CIE LAB color space. We do this because um, this color space is perceptually uniform. This means that the lightness value L in this color space represents the perceived luminance of a pixel. And therefore, this histogram compression results in a perceptual contrast reduction. Next, we apply a color shift. The tinted vision that people with cataracts sometimes experience is caused by particles in the lens that absorb or reflect parts of the incoming light. The lens often appears bluish white. This part of the incoming light does not fall onto the retina. Therefore, the resulting color shift can be simulated by multiplying the image color with the complementary color of these cataract particles. Since this is a physical and not a perceptual process, we do our calculations in linear RGB and not in a perceptual color space. Finally, we simulate sensitivity to light by applying a glare effect based on human perception and medical expertise. We can adjust our simulation and create different glare kernels depending on parameters such as pupil size, the number of particles in the lens, or particle radius. We developed this glare, which is based on the work of Ritschel and colleagues, for another of our projects, which is also presented here at ISMAR by my colleague Laura Luidolt in her talk on gaze-dependent simulation of light perception in virtual reality. So if you want to know more about our glare, please watch her talk. Here you can see the simulation when looking at a 360 image. This is our simulation for nuclear cataract, which causes a uniform clouding of the lens in the human eye. 
cortical cataracts additionally create dark shadows in the periphery of your vision. To simulate these shadows, we add one stage to our effects pipeline. We essentially use a shadow texture to darken the periphery and use eye tracking to move this effect with a user's gaze. Since shadows become more or less prominent depending on the pupil size, we scale our texture according to the brightness around the gaze point. We improved the simulation from one of our earlier works and used the Gaussian function centered at the gaze point of the user to calculate a Gaussian weighted image brightness. And this gives us a simulation of cortical cataracts. We can also invert our shadow texture to create shadows in the center of the field of view, which is a common symptom of posterior subcapsular cataracts. Besides AR and 360 images, we can of course also use our simulation in VR, for example, to test 3D models of architectural designs for accessibility. We contacted, conducted a pilot study with three cataract patients between surgeries of the left and right eye. Cataracts are usually treated by replacing the affected lens with an artificial one. Since patients often get surgery on their second eye a few days or weeks after their first operation, there's a very limited time frame in which they can have the, the unique opportunity to look at our simulation with their corrected eye and compare it to their vision with their still cataract afflicted eye when viewing the unmodified AR video stream. In order to compare our simulation to their own cataract vision, we let them switch between view of the left and right eye. We ask them to point out the differences and advise us on how to adjust the simulation, which we would do during the experiment to match their cataract vision as closely as possible. Our preliminary results show that the individually adjusted symptoms were deemed to be close to our participants' perception of the environment with cataract vision in the majority of cases. However, the overall impression of our simulation was rated worse than the individual symptoms by two out of three participants. We have to run more experience to look into this, but one explanation for this overall rating could be that each individual symptom was close, but not perfect. So these little differences add up in the overall impression. We conducted further experiments with two participants who had undergone cataract surgery a few months before. We had a video call to stream live images and communicate with participants via voice chat. We asked them to compare the presented cataract simulation to their memory of their cataract vision before the surgery and we adjusted the simulation according to their feedback. We also showed them images from related work in this case, adjustment was done by adjusting the opacity of the cataract image when blending it over the original. Both participants stated that overall our simulation best resembled their experienced cataract vision, especially for our night scene. To conclude, we presented a system to simulate cataracts in AR, VR or 360 images. We tested our methodology in a pilot study with three participants between cataract surgeries of their left and right eye. We also conducted two remote experiments adjusting our effects with participants via video call and comparing our simulation to images of simulated cataracts in related work. With our pilot study, we have shown the feasibility of our methodology and also gathered qualitative feedback. Our remote experiments served as a way to compare our simulation to related work. From our results, we conclude that our methodology proves useful for creating more adjustable and therefore potentially more realistic simulations of cataracts and could also be used for simulations of other vision impairments. We already integrated other vision impairment simulations and intend to open source our framework with all simulations in early 2021. If you want to know more about our project, you can visit our website or send us an email. Thank you for watching.